All right, YouTube, you're back with your boy, Impala Chris. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And as you can see, we got another one we're bringing you and hopefully can get back to the streets. I know this is probably the first time you've seen one of these on my channel, 65. So between all the 58, 59s, the only car I haven't had is a 66. So, man, we're saving them. So I got this one at Big Jim's Junkyard. This is the last two-door Chevy out of this yard. So, I couldn't just leave it there, man. I got a soft spot for these cars, and I knew it was the last two-door Impala there, so. We can see what it can do, but man, it is for sale and needs a home. Yeah, most importantly about this thing, uh, the frame's solid, front to back. Uh, it does need four pan put in it, but the trunk's all there. The rockers are all there. So I know she kind of looks rough in different areas, but 65, I don't know the common spots for these things to rot out, but we went and bought a parts car for this car and the frame was shot out here. So I guess that's probably one of their problem spots, but this thing's solid under there. So frame's good. The trunk's good. The rockers are decent. Just gonna need pan skins. So I'll hopefully one of you guys that are watching this can save this old car and see what I see because man I wish I could keep them all guys uh, it just looks slick I just never had one of these and the way the tail lights look and the rear end and they just look slick I can picture this thing rolling midnight blue with the light sky blue inside so I know I'm rambling on so let's get what you guys came to see These should don't look that bad. We'll do a walk around first, guys. So she does got she got burgered up on the roof, but stud gun and a little uh, hammer dolly persuasion could take care of all that. But man, you guys can picture this thing brand new cruising down the street and got the show me state license place on there but see I know this trunk has some uh, rust around the lip right here I kept the parts trunk uh, for repair so it can repair all this so it should be able to be used to piece in and graft in whatever parts you need to do to refix this trunk all right here's the bad side i mean this thing's from 1965 what do you expect she was in the yard I'm gonna die out there uh man what you'll see the videos of where it was sitting at man it was deep in there a tree growing out through the engine compartment it was rough in there, but man, this thing can be, it can be brought back. So she got rust in the roof lip, but I say my buddy has a whole roof. If somebody wanted to get a whole roof to repair it, but man, I would just sheet metal all this right here and cut out and just re add on to that because man the rest of it ain't really bad so i wouldn't go that far and i kept the dash out of the other car so this one's got little rust around the lip because the front windshield was out or actually the front windshield was in there i think that's probably what made everything rot out in it because man the gaskets were all wore out and it was just, yeah, it just fell out. So, a whole bunch of leaves and dirt. But, it's fixable, guys. Because, man, if I fix my beat up convertibles that are way worse than this, this thing is should be a breeze. And I hope you guys would take on a project like this with you and your kids. Because, 
man, I understand people want to show cars and stuff, but man, uh, you're trying to teach the younger generation about fixing these cars up. That's what this is about. I'm trying to keep them interested, because man, you don't let your kids touch your guys' cars and let them work on it and let them learn. Man, they don't want nothing to do with that car. That's that car my dad or my mom had that I could never touch. And they spent more time with it than them, than me. Then they don't want the car. So just make sure they're involved. Get them to be in there with you working on this thing. Get a beat up car and let them put in work. Some ideas, paint colors. See that other radio knob is missing, but the other dash has it. This is, uh, I think, three on the tree because it has the pedals in it. So the parts car we had was automatic. So I got the automatic column. I got the brakes, the original brakes for it in case someone wanted to switch back. I saved all the brackets. Uh, the heater pieces are in there. So somebody can put the dash all back together. The radio knob's in there. But see, it's going to need pan skins. But underneath the back seat is solid and all the way in the trunk solid. So luckily all that survived. It's missing the piece up here, but I mean, if somebody really, really needed me to find one, I probably could get it, but it's going to cost a little bit of money to get it. And I'm just trying to get rid of the car as is. So maybe somebody has something that's in a little bit worse shape than this car that needs this car to complete their car who knows but I want you to look at these rockers I mean they're in decent shape for being the soul I'll tell you the truth uh, I originally uh, was gonna go get this thing my buddy has a 65 and it's real nice and I know he needed some parts and I was just going to, hey, just dig this thing out, let him go get the parts. But after I seen how solid it was, I was like, man, nah, we can't do that to this car. Cannot do it to this car. See, the trunk pan's all solid back here. I know some of the extra parts from the other cars in here. The power steering, uh, the pieces for the rear end, just extra little knick-knack parts here and there. Some of the parts won't fit in, so we got the column that goes with it. And as you can see right here, this is the rust I was talking about on the trunk, but that other trunk has all this in good shape, but it's a bigger trunk, so if somebody really needed to doctor this up, they could use that other trunk to repair all that but i mean personally i would use that other trunk some sheet metal and weld this onto this this trunk right here because the rest of the trunk's solid I'll show you the rest see vin number's intact Right there, doors all open. This rocker still has a chrome piece on it. I'm not gonna try to pop that off, so. Nineteen oh eight. But just imagine that steering wheel. Look at that. That is so awesome. Impala. Very cool. Check out underneath the hood. I'm gonna have to put the phone down to open the hood. Alright, man. It took me a screwdriver and two hands to get this thing open. I'm not used to opening 65 uh, hoods, but 283 and it's got an automatic power glide. So I kept all the linkage for whoever gets it so they can hook all that back up. 
to the original, but as far as me going with this car, I'm done with it. I know it needs a little bit of work around the edges right here, but I'm trying to point out all the little bad spots, but I mean, it ain't nothing really major. If it was something really major, I wouldn't, this car would have been chopped up, but it's too much, it's got too much potential. And actually, I think this motor could run if somebody really tried to get at it. Because, man, the car I took the parts out of actually kind of looked like the motor could run. So, some tinkering and you and your friends or you and your brother or you and your kids. That could be you guys picture me rolling, man. But it has a couple little spots in the hood. But I think the hood's repairable. Like right here. But I mean, this, it looks repairable, guys. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, man. And uh, we're trying to liquidate some cars around here. So we got this car right here, 65. Uh, man, uh, 63. Uh, 62. We're going to be having a. 59 but man we're liquidating cars around here and uh remember get back to the streets and uh man i hope you guys when you guys take this thing home let's get this beauty one more walk around in the middle of the junkyard in the middle of missouri And I know you guys see my truck in the background, man. We're about to throw some paint on there. I, I was lying when we were digging this thing out of the, the video. I'm like, I'm at least got to get it one color. So that's what we're about to do today. Bam. Sitting in your driveway, guys. Or if not, you guys just came to look. That's fine with me too, man. I like looking at them like this. Like one last thing, man. Uh, I know it's nice to look at all the done up cars and stuff, but this is a blank canvas that hasn't been touched and it could be whatever you imagine. So these cars, these cars get my attention more than the fixed up cars because man, you can put whatever you want, whatever your flavor is. And make that your masterpiece so to me these are blank canvases i mean if you try to buy somebody's car that's halfway done it's kind of you, you they already got a vision for the car man you would have to really regut something and restore it and it's just it's not as exciting to me starting like this but i know not everybody's capable either but no no rambling on let's kill this video but like, comment, subscribe, and remember, get back to the streets, baby.